back, 4 2 win here at home to Greenock. Can you talk us through that? Firstly, just delighted to get the, the three points in the win. Uh, made it a game in the second half. I think we've done a lot of the hard work in the first half. Spoke about pressing them. Uh, we learned a lesson, I think, for the first time we played them. Well, they played out and they hurt us quite, uh, quite badly uh, that first time down at their bit. So, uh, just reminding that obviously we were working on that as well during the week. And it was just for me, it was just about that, that high press and, and turnover. And then look when we've got the chances to uh, to go and be clinical. Uh, I'd actually say that second half, we won these clinicals. We could uh, we could have been uh, and we could have put it in bed a long time. But uh, even then, I'm going. Look, the, the two goals they scored are, are good, but one's a set piece and one we've we've let a guy float a ball in for thirty yards and there's two free runners for both goals. So that. That's a wee bit disappointing, but look, as I said at the end of the day, it's to, to just go and get the three points and uh, I thought the lads were, were great. Uh, asked for a reaction based on last week and I think we got it today, um, so I know delighted. In a game like that where both teams need a result, how important is the first goal? Oh, look, critical and I think even maybe the first five, ten minutes, they, uh, they threatened us uh, a wee bit and I think when you look at it, even at 3-1 call makes, uh, a good save and if they get it back to 3-2 it's, it's, it's quite uh, tasty uh, but I know I think we get the we get the first and then not long after we then we follow up in the second so uh, again learning lessons from from what's happened before talking about when we score goals how vulnerable we're where we are and then just being sure that when we do get that goal we're, we're nice and tight look I think I think the lads were I think particularly in the first half I don't think we had a we had a lot of trouble uh, in that sense for, for call in the second half they came in here because they, they have to they've got nothing to lose you saw that they were, they were going f I think 3, 4, 5 uh, at some stage up, up top and, and just gambling which you need to do uh, 3, 4, 1, 7, 1 it's the same uh, so you need to go and I've been there myself where you go a defeat's a defeat it doesn't matter the score line we need to go and try and get the win so you can see that um, and they were they were being quite direct, but I'd also say I think we forced them to be direct because we did we went and pressed up, uh, but pff, keepers get some fun <laughs> then dropping it into uh, the top third straight away and uh, they were on us. But all I'd say is when they did try and turn us to our defence, it, it was it was kind of what we do sometimes. It's just too short, and our defence were able to pick it up and then and, and turn defence into uh, attack. So no, look, I can't fault a guy at all there. Um, and like you say, you get. You get the first goal, we then get the second, and then you be in a half time for three 0 up. It's it's a rarity that I've not had uh, this year, uh, but lessons from ourselves being three 0 down and coming back before. It's just just reminding them, uh, and again I think they scored within five seven minutes or something like that. So if you then that's a lot of football to play, uh, and I think the lads used their experience a wee bit there. And they, we spoke about it before as well. They just took a sting out of the game a wee bit and we slowed it down, broke up play a wee bit and then uh, obviously managed to get the fourth. So uh, I look delighted, uh, if anything. Maybe I wanted a bit more goals. Uh, so, but look, I'm never gonna never gonna stop pressing the guys, asking for more, asking for more standards and um, that was a disappointment for last week as the, the effort and stuff like that was there. It was just the quality uh, that wasn't and I think We've shown the quality there as well, played some nice stuff. Uh, after a change of parts looking, parts looking good with some grass on it, so um, ideal. Does that take the pressure off now going into the final two games that you don't need to worry about results, you can concentrate on performance? I think so. I think, look, I think mathematically it's not it's not done. We're not guaranteed. Um, I think that relegates Greenock. Um, and then you're looking at RD are now half to go and win their two games by quite big margins uh, and they've got two tough games and we would then need to have a really two bad days at the office to lose that, that goal difference that, that comes as a uh, as an extra point really. Uh, so it's not it's not done done but we put myself in an absolutely great place and uh, I would agree maybe I'll be able to go home and actually have a decent sleep uh, the night but again saying that to the lads for me I feel put my heart in my line I'd say that that, that we needed one more win for the three and I think we've we've got it there so all I would say now is I look, I say the pressure is off a bit but 
even then, I want I want to go and finish the last two games in another couple and then and climb up a wee touch. You know I mean, we're not we're not just happy with safety, but uh, it does mean it, it does give us a wee bit of, of freedom for the last two games to probably try some lads and, and see uh, what they've got. But for me, the next big thing is Friday night where the twenties are in a semi final, which is absolutely massive against a uh, couple of old Colts as well. So uh, we're all going to get along and, and support them. And hopefully they can they can get a final and maybe get a wee bit of silverware. But it's going to be a really tough game. But like a bit like ourselves, <laughs> we made Hill seem to be like a cup team. So um, league form a wee bit erratic and uh, doing well in the cup. So all the best to them. And that's for me. That's the next big focus to go and to go and see how they do on Friday night and have an eye for the future as well. Thanks very much, Mark. Cheers, guys.